Hey guys, Bumbles here with another New World video, and today we're going to go over my one month review of the game. So pretty much anything that's happened in the first month as far as bug fixes, other issues, what I think about the crafting system, combat system, PvP, PvE, everything about the game. Basically what my review is in the first month, because obviously the first month is pretty much the period that really gets people hooked. Whether they're going to play this a long time or if this is just going to be like a two or three month game where they get max level and then that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my one month review. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the v hit the bell. Hey guys, let's jump right in. So here in the background, you're going to be running through Brightwood Isle, which is an elite area in Brightwood. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite places just to farm, just because I like the lore of this place. I like the storyline. I like the, I mean, the enemies are a little low level for me, but they still give great experience for how quickly I can kill them. So pretty quick and easy experience for my weapons that I like to level up. So my first month experience of this game is I absolutely have just loved it. Um, I've met a lot of new people, got to play with a lot of new friends, uh, absolutely had a blast playing this game. There's so much to do and I haven't even done everything. Um, I just hit max level to, uh, the other day. So it did take me about 196 hours. So I'm going to assume depending how you, how fast you rush, what you do for quests, all that stuff. It's probably going to take you between about 150 to 250 hours to hit max level, which is at, not awful. Um, even when you hit max level, you haven't done any everything. There is still three or four expeditions I haven't even touched. There, my crafting and harvesting and gathering skills isn't even up all the way. I haven't made the gear that I want. So there's still going to be quite a bit to kind of look into here. I mean, there's still a lot I have to do. I have to finish all my gathering stuff because I am assuming... And what I have been seeing as leaks is pre basically when new areas get put in, all the skills are essentially going to go up because there's going to be new materials, that kind of stuff. So we do need max everything just in case that stuff does happen. We can be prepared to get the new materials and stuff like that. The combat I absolutely love. I love the character building. I love the ability to use multiple weapons, not just use a specific like one or two weapons. Like if you build full decks, you can use the bow, the musket, the spear, or the rapier. Um, you can also kind of use the sword and the hatchet as well. Uh, but they are as useful where they do have it that dex is a secondary attribute. Now, one thing I absolutely do love is the PvE is just so relaxing. Um, it is still challenging, especially in expeditions and elite areas are still quite challenging if you're at that level. Um, obviously, you see me here running through a level 35 zone uh, as a level 60. So it's, yes, we are over leveled for this, but it is still kind of fun um, and relaxing. You still get good loot, all that kind of stuff. I do absolutely love the loot system, um, like with crates and drops and specific drops for specific animals, uh, that kind of stuff. It kind of makes it a little bit more grindy. Um, if I have to get some sort of like pork belly uh, ingredient, I need to go hunt pigs and boars. I can't get that off of like an elk or something like that. Just like you can't get poultry out of a pig. It, it just makes it a little bit more grindy, which I kind of enjoy. The gathering and crafting, I absolutely love. I haven't even gotten close to maxing this stuff out. Um, I think the closest thing I have is mining. And then everything else is pretty much, I like the 150 level, 130 range. Uh, I kind of didn't focus one thing. I kind of focused a bunch of things at once. But it has been quite enjoyable. I absolutely love it. The amount of stuff you can do with crafting is just crazy. It is super enjoyable, super easy just to kind of just figure out what you need, go out in the wilderness and spend a couple hours just gathering. I absolutely do love the particle effects in this game too. They look phenomenal. Any of the abilities, that kind of stuff, the picture, just everything in this game looks great. And I absolutely love that part. I don't think I've ever gone into an area in this game so far and been like, yeah, this is this area sucks. Like, I, I mean, besides Weaver's Fen town, which is just a nightmare to even get around in. Um, I haven't gone into an area where I was like, ah, yeah, no, this is, this just doesn't look good. There's especially the end game zones, like, uh, Shattered Mountain, Eden Grove, Great Cleave, that Ebon Scale, those places look phenomenal. They're gorgeous. They're pretty. They're chaotic. It just looks, it looks amazing. There are some areas in here, like the uh, whenever you go to visit the Azoth tree, just kind of blows your mind away. Um, there was a bunch of us that went to the Azoth tree, and we just sat there and stared at it for five minutes. We didn't want to do anything. We just sat there and stared at it. It was pretty. Uh, by far, probably the best visual effect 
that I have seen in a game that has actually made me stop and go, hold on, we're going to look at this for a bit. Let's take a look at this. Let's look at this. Let's enjoy it. Let's soak it in. And we did. And we all enjoyed it. We all had the same exact reaction. It was just, oh my God, this is beautiful. And the fact that they transferred something like that into a game that you can enjoy is crazy. I do love the expeditions and how each one kind of has its own focus. Um, you have Amory, which is like the introduction. You have uh, Starstone, which is essentially just like puzzles. It's more puzzle based. You have Depths, which is way more combat based. And then you pretty much have uh, Dynasty, which is more of a task slash combat. There's not really any puzzles, but there is a couple parts where you have to blow up some ships. It's more task oriented, like go plant this explosive and continue through the expedition. That kind of stuff is kind of enjoyable to me because it's not... If I'm feeling one thing, I don't have to go to um, the same high tier dungeon. I can go to the low level dungeon. Um, like I have a video coming out soon where we did naked dungeon runs for the low levels to still make it challenging for us because it, it, we're just we're high level. We want to go still enjoy the lower level places. So we put on crappier gear and no gear at all and see how far we can get. So there is a lot to do with this There's a lot to kind of expand on. But all in all, like the game overall, I have absolutely loved. I personally have not had many bug issues. There's been a lot of people that have had bug issues. However, I haven't had any, so I don't know what's going on with that. Like I am the probably the only one in the company that has sailed through the game with probably only like four or five bugs. I don't know if it's like the profile server, if the if there's hold profiles on different server, if there's connection issues with that. It's almost what it seems like this disconnection between the client and the server itself or client to client stuff, um, not necessarily the server itself. But I, uh, I get I haven't had any, so I don't know if I got on a different like I don't I don't know how it's set up, so I, I can't tell exactly what it what it's like. Um, they are pumping out patches left and right to fix these bugs, too. They've done a really, really nice job fixing the previous bugs. And they did say once the bugs have been fixed, they are going to launch uh, actual content, which leading into content as well. I know a lot of people complain that there's not much content in the game. There is a ton of content. I put 200 hours in already and I barely touched the game. I don't have all my weapons maxed out. I don't have my crafting and gathering maxed out. I haven't done all the expeditions as well as that. It's wow. In Final Fantasy 14, which are the two games that have been kind of i guess put up against this game final fantasy 14 has been out for 11 years 11 years that's a long time to make content wow has been out for 17 years that has even more content so people are like oh it doesn't have as much content as wow or final fantasy 14. yeah no dip it, it they have 17 and 11 years of content it, it, this is has one month and then they're the content alone i mean i haven't even touched most of it so i am kind of excited to see what an end game kind of content is i know it's a lot of running portals outpost rush wars invasions that kind of stuff we are listed for an invasion today actually about the time that we're recording this about 40 minutes so kind of excited to record that and give that to you guys as well as my review of the invasions because i've heard invasions are incredibly hard i'm kind of excited to see what happens with them all in all, if you're an MMO player and you love open world games or creativity, uh, medieval fantasy style games, I definitely think this is a must need to at least try. It's only $40, so it's not crazy expensive. It's not like the 60 like normal uh, video games. This is actually a decent price for a game that you get this much content out of. And the amount of content that they plan on doing and that they have announced um, and that stuff has been leaked is just crazy i cannot wait to see all the content I, I cannot wait to get everything done and continue on with it because there is so much to do like i haven't bought all my house i haven't done a lot of stuff in this game chat i mean honestly you need to go out you need to try it yourself i do recommend it if you can get it on sale or get codes through streamers highly recommend it um, if you do have the extra cash I, I honestly would try it myself. And again, this is not an ad. This is me just, I absolutely love this game. If you like MMOs and fantasy style games, the combat's fun. The crafting and gathering is just immersive. And just, I, I've gone out and chopped trees for three hours. I have no shame in that. I, I, I can't have shame in that. I, that's what I did. I chopped trees for three hours. And I made a lot of money doing it too. Because Aged Wood was selling for quite a bit. 
So all in all, the bug situation, at least for myself, isn't that bad. I know some more people have more issues than others, as well as just disconnects and lag, which could be an internet issue. Uh, they are fixing that. The GPU issue, from what I understand, is completely gone so that they aren't bricking GPUs anymore. Um, as long as you update your drivers for your NVIDIA, because um, it was NVIDIA's actual, it was actually an NVIDIA's production that actually caused the bricks not new world itself so i kind of hope this video kind of helps you out i do rate this as probably one of my favorite games up there i think it might be my favorite game right now um obviously ever i played a ton of video games i couldn't put it on that scale just because it's i don't i don't choose favorites that much but right now this is probably the game i'm gonna be playing for quite a while uh just because of the content that's releasing all the lore all the stuff I have to max out. It's a lot of work and a lot of grinding. So if you like grinding games, this game is definitely for you. But guys, please go ahead and try it or at least consider trying it. Watch a couple live streams. See how you like it. Give it a try. But guys, I hope this helps you out with trying to figure out what to do with this. As we finish off Havelock here in the house, um, I do want to mention one more thing. This game in new Amazon has tried an incredible amount of, I guess, effort to make this game really, really well. And they have turned this game around in a 180 since launch. Uh, with all the issues at launch, they have done a fantastic job communicating what they're going to do, giving us the patch notes early, letting us know what could be happening in the future. The company has done a very, very, very nice job of communicating that to the players, the streamers, the creators, everything. So I'm happy to bring you guys way more content for this. This is probably going to be our game for quite a while. Um, so I'm super excited to bring this game to you guys just because there is so much to it. There is so much to this game than just the surface. So thank you guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. And I hope you guys like this video. Have a great day. Goodbye. This is y'all.